Ayan. Hi, guys. Kamusta kayo dyan? Hi. <laughs> okay, see you there. Gusto ko lang magpasalamat po sa inyong lahat, sa mga lahat ng uh, nag-comment dyan sa mga videos natin kahapon. Grabe mga comments natin, guys. Ay, dun sa mga 17 conditions para sa magpahearing. Yan, grabe talaga, guys. Hindi isa, isa dalawa, hindi dalawa, five stars po, five star po. Join you guys live from Kyoto, hindi five star hotel, obvious naman. Pero hindi naman, medyo ano naman. Okay, guys, ito, ito, ito. Dami natin pag-usapan today. May updates na naman tayo. Surprise, surprise. Na-contempt na naman. May na-contempt na naman dahil sa mahaba-habang mga kondisyon na sa buhay. Ayan. Dadagdagan pa siguro yung 17, ano na yan, conditions na yan. Actually, guys, kailangan natin magpaano. Magpagawa tayo ng scientific surveys. Siguro Google Trends natin yan, guys. Kung ano sa 17 conditions ang pinaka-paborito nyo. I think si Ma'am Riza Ontiveros gusto niya yung number 14. Dahil especially yung may emphasis sa 5-star hotel at pangbayat sa private jet, back and forth. Ako naman, guys, favorite ko naman, number 17 pa rin. Kasi... Grabe talaga yung number 17, all in talaga eh. All in talaga yung number 17. Talagang ano eh, may pagka ano yung parang drip, 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 drip everywhere. Yung gano'n, yung mga nagdi-drip dyan sa Senate, parang pagka gano'n, di ba? Baka mamaya gusto pa ni Sir, ano, kasama pang libreng drip, di ba? Baka gusto na ni Sir, ano, kailangan ng ano, baka kailangan magpa-vitamins habang nandyan sa Senado. Baka hindi lang siya, baka kailangan na, ano, baka lahat ng, um, tawag doon, Kahit yung mga tawag doon, um, lahat ng mga security personnel, uh, 50 daw yung uh, security personnel ni Sir. Diba? Baka lahat ng security personnel, kailangan na rin ng, uh, ng drip, drip, drip dyan sa Senado. Sige, isama na natin dyan, vitamin drip, gluta drip, para kompleto ang treatment natin dyan. Okay guys, ito ha. So may mga updates tayo over the past 12 hours or so. Ito na, na, na contempt case na naman itong paboritong ano. Pastor ni Tatay Digong over dito sa absence niya sa hearing. This time naman guys, hindi lang sa Senado but also in the lower house. Akalain mo, bati ang lower house ngayon ay medyo napupuno na sa'yo. So that tells you a lot guys. Ano nangyari dito? So the House Committee on Legislative Franchises kanina lang uh, nag-cite ng contempt laban sa itong pastor na to, itong self-proclaimed, oh, alam niya na, fill in the blanks kasi blasphemous, kaya hindi ko sasabihin, um, to appear before its hearing dito sa alleged franchise violations naman ng Sunshine Media Network International. So, hiwalay po na kaso ito, hiwalay po na issue ito, hindi ito yung sa yung mga investigations ni Riza Hondiveros ukol sa mga alleged abuses na mga miyembro, if not yung mga liderato ng kanyang grupo. Uh, ito naman ay ukul doon naman sa SMNI, of course. Ito po guys, ang mga, ito ang media channel ng mga bayani. Ito yung mga minamahal na mga, ano, yung mga mahilig sa independent, verified news. Doon sa mahilig sa world class, very world class, multi-awarded, yan, multi-awarded news channel, yan. SMNI, guys. So ito, uh, Surigao del Sur representative Johnny Pimentel moved to cite Kiboloy in contempt dun sa kanyang non-appearance or kanyang pag ano, yung dinedman niya, itong hearing na yan. So pag-usapan natin itong contempt na case na ito in more detail later on. In the meantime guys, in the meantime habang pumapasok pa yung mga estudyante, para kung alam mo yung mga teacher na nagsimula na yung class, late lahat ng mga estudyante, hindi pa sila pumasok kasi nandun sila sa kabilang classroom. Ejo eh, nag-overtime yung mga kabilang uh, teachers kasi ka kailangan mo na magsimula kasi may schedule ka, may habol ka pa. Ayan, kasi may interview ako after class, so kailangan ko magano. Kunyari mga ganyan, 'di ba? Nagsisimula ka tapos nagsasalita ka, pumapasok na yung mga estudyante. Ayan, 'yan ang, yan ang uh, style natin ngayon. Guys, eto na, eto na. What is important here is hindi lang itong uh, ginawa ng um, committee, House Committee on Legislative Franchises. So as you can see, sa lower house guys, ang tinitingnan dito is Yung kaso ng SMNI, sa upper house naman, tinitignan dito yung mga allegations ng abuses doon sa liderato, doon sa mga miyembro uh, ng, uh, I mean, galing sa mga liderato, mga miyembro, laban sa mga dating miyembro uh, ng, ng religious groups na yan. So, there are two different cases and contempt siya 
in both houses. So may unit team na po, may pagka unit team po na po nangyari sa lower house and upper house ukol dito sa kaso ni pastor. Now before going there guys, ito mahalaga to. This is very very important. Kailangan natin pag-usapan ito guys. Ah. Sara Duterte. Oh. Just to remind you guys, vice presidente pa rin siya. Hindi natin alam kung tatakpo siyang mayor ulit sa 2025. I know, it sounds crazy. But you never know in the Philippines. Next thing you know, baka tumakbo pa sa mayor yan. Nagbinit, baka bibitawan niya yung position niya. But we don't know that for sure. But in the meantime, she's still the number two. But more importantly, guys, actually, Sara Duterte is now the officer in charge, essentially, of the Philippines. Siya po yung acting CEO ng corporation known as um, Republic of Maharlika. I'm sorry, Republic of the Philippines, right? Kasi po, Surprise, surprise! Nasa abroad na naman yung minamahal natin presidente. Of course, yung ating minamahal na presidente po ay nag-Europe. Ayoko naman ng comment ng Magellan Jr. kasi alam mo masasabi ng tayo. Eh bakit? Para mas marami ka bang na, ano, mas marami ka bang na international trips ngayon kaysa kay ano, ha? kay uh, Bossing. Mga minamahal natin presidente. Guys, wag naman kayo ganyan. Lahat naman kami nagko-contribute sa bayan. di ba? Me in my own little ways. I and me. Tapos si BBM naman is in his own ways, big ways, BBM ways. So alam niyo guys, of course, na si Germany for a state visit. Ito si uh, President uh, Marcos Jr. Uh, state visit ito. No? Big time ito guys, big time ito. And of course, Germany just overtook Japan to become the third largest economy in the world. So malaking bagay ito. So hindi ito malit na bansa. Ang Alemanya po ay... Uh, a third largest economy in the world. Ang Alemania po ay isang uh, superpower pagdating sa manufacturing, isang superpower pagdating sa renewable energy, yung kanilang projects na energy vende. And more importantly, of course, Germany, guys, uh, is a huge source of uh, defense, defense uh, cooperation for the Philippines throughout the years, but very quietly because alam niya naman, Germany, of course, all the legacy of World War II and etc. So, Germany is actually quiet about this, but actually, but they have a lot to offer to the Philippines. We have a whole series of agreements with Germany throughout the years in terms of helping us to professionalize our armed forces, uh, in terms of security sector reform, in terms of capacity building, and hopefully down the road we're going to move towards acquisition, perhaps, of more advanced weapon systems or advanced kind of training. Para naman mag-next level yung ating kakayahan kasi hindi lang tayo gusto, hindi naman pwedeng umasa lang tayo sa Amerika lalong lalo na baka bumalik na si Trump soon. Ay, sakit sa ulo na naman 'yan. Um, hindi naman tayo pwedeng umasa lang sa Japan. Of course, uh, love natin ang Japan, pero ang Japan rin maraming limitasyon niyan. Yeah, shrinking economy and shrinking population niyan. Maraming mga sariling mga problema at limitasyon niyan. Uh, hindi rin tayo pwedeng umasa sa Australia, medyo malit na bansa 'yan. Uh, you know, of course, it's a big, you know, semi-continent. I'm talking about the population and the economy. It's relatively really a mid-sized country. So, hindi tayo pwede umasa doon sa mga traditional big three, no, of Japan, Australia, US, sa lahat. So, kailangan talaga natin na mag-diversify. Kailangan na natin uh, kumuha ng tulong, no, at suporta doon sa mga iba't ibang bansa around the world. So, I think Germany as the third largest economy in the world will be good. So, interesting, if you look at the five largest economies in the world, so that's United States, China, Uh, Germany, Japan, and India, dun sa lima na yan, very good relationship natin sa apat dyan. So, India po ay nagpo-provide ng BrahMos, supersonic missile system sa Pilipinas. Ang uh, ang Japan naman po ay nag-provide ng mga radar system sa atin, uh, Mitsubishi built yan. And they're looking at also doing their own visiting forces agreement with the Philippines. Uh, America naman, of course, ang pinakamalakas na bansa, of course. Aliada natin yan, habang usapan yan, but you know, there has been some big, big moves by the United States pagdating sa ETCA, pagdating sa development ng mga facilities natin dun sa malapit sa Ta- Taiwan, malapit sa West Philippine Sea. And importantly, of course, now papasok dito ang Germany. Third largest economy in the world, biggest economy in Europe, uh, one of the biggest manufacturing powers in the world. So let's hope, let's hope na at least with Germany, guys, hindi lang, uh, hindi lang pakit ang mangyari dyan. At, uh, I, 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 okay, BBM, but last time I checked with Germans, They mean business. These are serious people, all right? Hindi sila pakit lang. They're very outcome-oriented. Uh, they're very um, uh, no-nonsense people. Sometimes a bit too serious, you know? <laughs> but but they're no-nonsense people. So I look forward to to seeing some key agreements signed with Germany and German companies para naman maka pumunta sila dito. Kasi ang daming German companies na pumunta sa Thailand, uh, pumunta dyan sa... Um, 
uh, pumupunta dyan sa Malaysia, pumupunta sa ibang Asian countries, Singapore, pero sa Pilipinas, I think there's so much room uh, for improvement, mga kameta, no? Now, um, of course, the president is also gonna go to Czech Republic, which is just next to, munti ko sinabi, Czechoslovakia, medyo nakiwalay na po yung Slovakia and Czech Republic, uh, mahabang usapan yun, pero... Czech Republic, as I said, if you look at uh, Czech Republic, their their major manufacturing power when it comes to car industry, for instance, yung Skoda. So yung mga nag-Europe, nasa, pumunta sa iba't ibang bansa sa Europe, nakikita mo yung mga kotse ng Skoda. And, and this is like a century-old car industry, right? It's solid, solid yan. Uh, affordable, uh, yung mga Skoda cars. And of course, Czech Republic also has a lot of experiences in terms of agricultural sciences, among others. So, Pagdating sa mga issue ng industrial capacity and capacity building, pagdating sa issue ng agrikultura at saka food security, pagdating sa issue ng renewable energy, I think malaki ang mga tulong na makakuha natin sa mga bansa na yan if, if, if magaling tayo mag-negotiate and all. I'll tell you one thing. I hope hindi magalit ang ibang tao dyan. Marami tayong mga nakakausap na mga senior diplomats all around the world. At isa sa mga narinig ko is, of course, there are, you know, there are, there are always good exceptions. But isa sa mga narinig kong complaints dun sa mga ibang foreign diplomats na medyo senior levels is sana mas proactive din yung mga diplomats sa Filipino daw abroad pagdating sa building of trade and strategic relationship. Kasi daw, minsan, para nangyari daw, sila pa yung nasa Manila, sila pa yung nagbubuhat ng buong bangko, di ba? Para sisigurado na umangat-angat yung level ng trade and investment relations nila sa Pilipinas. So, they're hoping na sana yung mga counterparts nila dun sa capital sila, yung mga Philippine DFA representatives, also step up their trade diplomacy. I mean, from my own experience, talking to people in different places, whether, for instance, in Copenhagen, Washington, D.C., uh, yung mga meet natin, mga kaibigan natin sa mga embahada natin uh, around the country, uh, sorry, around the world, in fairness naman, uh, nakita ko naman na may mga efforts sila. And in fact, one of the things that comes up in my conversation dun sa mga kaibigan natin sa iba't ibang embahada is yung economic relationship uh, with the host nations. I think Germany, we have a very, very good also ambassador there. Uh, and, and yes, true, I mean, tama si Luz, uh, Germany is also a stellar country when it comes to human rights issues, civil liberties issues, kumbaga, bowing bowing ang, ang, ang Germany dun sa dun sa mga kasalanan nila no in the first and second world war although we can have a very long conversation about the fact na parang binelame lang ng Germany sa lahat ng mga nangyaring mali dahil may mali din naman ibang bansa but i don't want to go down the road marami talaga maling ginawang Germany especially in second world war alam na natin yan so medyo bumabawi din sila sa mga bagay na yan so they are kind of a stellar nation and actually what i find interesting is i want to see what will happen dun sa Germany because one of the pillars of the post-war German Republic, right, is yung laban nila sa historical revisionism, right? <laughs> I mean, the Germans are very, very serious about reminding their people and also reminding the world na never forget, right? Very, very strong sa kanila yung idea na wag natin kalimutan yung mga maling ginawa natin or mga maling ginawa ng ating mga ancestors, mga, mga uh, ating mga liderato, back in the day, especially laban sa mga grupo katulad ng mga uh, the J- Jewish folks, for instance, in Germany, um, many people who were victimized dun sa mga sobrang maras at brutal na ginawa ng Nazi Germany. And also, a lot of brutal things that pre-Nazi Germany did you know, in the opening decades of the 20th century. So, so actually, Germany is a kind of a gold standard when it comes to fighting against historical revisionism. So let's see. Because, alam niyo naman, yung minamahal natin Paolo, Medyo, ano, parang never nangyari yung martial law pag nagsalita yan. Parang never nangyari yung human rights violation, never nangyari yung mga kalokohan na nangyari ng panahon na yan. Now, we cannot talk about, you know, some roads being built here and there in the 21 years na nandun yung diktatora natin. But I said, economically, kung sobrang galing sana yung diktator natin, edi sana katulad ng Japan, or forget about Japan, katulad ng Korea, or katulad ng even Malaysia, meron tayong mga national cars, automobiles, world-class steel industries, world-class electronics industry. Wala. 21 years na sa power. Walang nagawa in terms of building world-class industries. And all. But worse than that, worse than that, right? Yung mga utang, and even worse than that, worse than that, yung damage sa institutions natin and human rights violation. So I hope Germany, being a gold standard, right, for fighting against historical revisionism, a kind of a stellar model country, for coming to terms with dark pasts and you know um and 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 also in, in terms of proactive pushback against any sort of historical revisionism let's see what's going to happen with with bbm now i understand that bbm had some sort of interesting interview with an australian si ferguson yaten no 
you know, Australian uh, journalist when he was in Canberra. Balikan natin yan because I have to also check it more. Uh, there were some tough questions raised there, which is good. Hindi naman pwede purong Tony Talks, right? No offense, pero, pag, you know, legit journalist, hindi po pwede Tony Talks yan. You have to really raise some some tough questions, especially if you're dealing with a foreign leader who has a very notorious background, right? Or at least yung family niya may notorious background. Just look at the court cases in the U.S. Doon sa mga nangyari, mga kababalagan ng panahon ng martial law. But of course, of course, of course, let's not talk too much about mga horrible things na ginawa ng mga ganito. Pag-usapan natin yung mga even more interesting people sa ating panahon, right? Baka magalit na naman sa atin yung mga, mga, ano, mga, mga Ilocano natin kaibigan dyan. Nyamat, nyamat. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, medyo ano na, delikado na. Okay. No, no, no. Honestly, I feel, I, honestly, I, I, actually, I just thought about it. Oh nga, no. Inside, instead of, you know, aside from manufacturing, aside from um, energy vendor, renewables, sana yung Germany ran, medyo magparinig ng konti. I don't know if he's gonna have interviews in Germany. I wanna ask my, my contacts there. I hope BBM gives an interview or gives a proper talk in Germany. I hope, you know, they'll ask him about historical revisionism or clearly his family's version of historical revisionism. He won 2022 elections based on clear distortion of historical facts. Clear distortion of historical facts. And please don't give me nonsense. Some of my own professors were tortured during the martial law period. And don't give me this nonsense, red tagging nonsense of that, okay? My schedule. All right. Now, as if that's the most <laughs> problematic thing in the Philippines, historical revisionism. I mean, forget about the story. I mean, Ang problema natin ngayon is what happened even two, three, four years ago ay nire-revisionism na ngayon, alright? Uh, and speaking of mga ano, alternative universe, ayan, mga kabudols. Kamusta naman dyan mga kabudols natin? Mga minamahal natin all around the world. Okay. Ito na, pag-usapan natin guys. Ito ha. Alright, okay. Now, Andiyan na, andiyan na. Medyo pumapasok na yung mga estudyante. Ang haba ng ano, entry, ano, intro natin eh. Ganun na mga teachers. Pag feeling namin hindi nakikinig yung class or wala pa yung mga estudyante, pero kailangan ako mag-start. Magbigay tayo ng mga habang introduction. Let's uh, set the predicate as Ronald likes to say it. And then ngayon pag-usapan natin yung subject natin. The subject of the day, of course. Bago natin pag-usapan si Pastor. Yung paboritong Pastor ni Sir Digong. Ito guys, ito na, ito na. Ito na, yung paborito nyo, yung officer in charge, yung ating acting president CEO. Ang ganda guys, yung entry pa lang, parang ano eh, parang Marvels, eh, mga Marvels. Ganda ng graphics ah. Gusto ko ganun din yung ano natin, meta natin. Oh, by the way guys, ah, mag-launch na ako ng trailer ng YouTube natin, finally. Please, please wag nyo bash please be nice. Hi guys! Be nice! Alright, wag nyo bash yung trailer natin. Hindi naman siya pretentious masyado, sakto lang. Medyo nag-flex lang ako ng konti, pero ano, uh, with a good heart. Okay, ito, ito. Guys, grabe, grabe, ito, ito, ito. Ito, ito, ito. kababayan, ako po ay nakikisa sa Hi. panawagan ng Hi, pagpapairal ng batas at katarungan Hi, sa guys. hinaharap na isyu ni Pastor Apollo Kibuloy at ng Sunshine Media Network Incorporated. Sa mga ginagawang pagdinig ay tila pinatawan na ng guilty verdict si Pastor Kibuloy kahit na nakabatay lamang ang pagdinig na ito sa mga paratang ng mga testigo na nagkukubli ng kanilang katauhan at hindi mapatunayan ang kredibilidad. Marami sa atin ang naniniwala na ang dinaranas ngayon ni Pastor Kibuloy ay isang pandarahas at hindi patas. Bukod sa hearing na walang pinatutunguhan, ay kabilang rin dito ang indefinite suspension ng broadcasting network na SMNI na isang issue ng media freedom. Hindi biro ang mga pangyayari at paratang na ganito. Nararapat lamang na babigyan ng patas na laban at sa tamang korte. Ika nga sa Mateo chapter 5 verses 11 to 12. Pinagpala ang mga nilalait at inuusig ng mga tao at pinaparatangan ng lahat ng uri ng kasamaan na pawang kasinungalingan ng dahil sa akin. Magsaya kayo at maggalak sapagkat malaki ang inyong gantimpala sa langit. Alalahanin ninyong inuusig din ang mga propetang na una sa inyo. Sana po ay maging gabay natin ang mga bersikulong ito patungo sa kaginawaan at mabigyan tayo ng tibay ng loob sa pagharap sa mga pagsubok, pagtitiis, 
at pag-uusig ngayon. Lagi po tayong manalangin para sa hustisya at katotohanan. Justice and the truth cannot be achieved in trial by publicity, but by a day in court. Shukran. Silence lang tayo guys, kasi <laughs> kailangan natin i-absorb to, okay? Let, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let, let's just absorb this, okay? Let's talk about justice, let's talk about truth. All right, let's talk about due process. Woo! Medyo ano, <laughs> medyo na overwhelm ako diyan. Ah. Maraming mga pwedeng pag-usapan diyan. I mean, for the Duterte to talk about due process, right? For the Duterte to talk about um, you know, not trial by publicity, hindi mahahaka lang, hindi pwedeng humusga. You know, this I find that very very interesting, you know, but but you know, I mean, um you know, I, I love it when people, you know, try to um, draw wisdom from and spiritual advice uh, from the Bible. Um, uh, but, you know, at the same time, uh, there's no bother. My point is, I hope we also look at the proper verses in the Bible. No, marami tayong mga proper verses na pwedeng pag-usapan, of course, including, di ba? Uh, alam nyo na yung mga verses na pwedeng natin pag-usapan dito, di ba? Um, uh, yung pag-usapan ba natin yung Sermon on the Mount? Guys, in Matthew, um, okay, alam mo na guys, okay, beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly are ravenous wolves. We'll know them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? Okay, okay, ma- ma- I'm just saying, you know, marami tayong pwede pag-usapan dyan, but uh, unahin muna natin, I find the first part very, very interesting. Pero ang ganda ng, ano ah, ganda, ganda ng sound system talaga, no? Ganda Ako po ay nakikiisa sa panawagan ng pagpapairal ng batas Ay, at na. katarungan sa hinaharap na isyu ni Pastor Apollo Kibuloy. Okay, okay marami tayong mga pag-usapan mga kameta dito. Okay. I mean, ulitin nga natin. Wait lang. Medyo may preponderance of ano eh, may thought process dito. Kaya medyo uminit ako. Nakita nyo, nag-blush ako eh. Nag-blush tayo. Diba, sa ating mga minamahal na mga ano. Pero ang ganda ng opening talaga, no? Oh, ito po yung statement. Officially, ito po yung statement. Ah. Pasahin po natin. Okay. Officially statement, no? Oh, hindi, kayo na lang. Mas maganda yung delivery, eh. Ulitin natin na... Sunshine Media Network Inc. Ah, ito, 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 ito. Media freedom. <laughs> Isa pa yan. You know, for Duterte to talk about media freedom is quite rich also, considering what happened with ABS-CBN and a number of others. Of course, palati sabi nila, it's a different case. Palati na sabi nila, oh, it's... But I'm just saying, you know, it's very important before we talk about certain values, we also make sure that meron tayong moral ascendancy and at the same time, may counting self-awareness when we talk about this. Topic. And speaking of truth and justice, obviously, guys, gusto natin pag-usapan ng ICC, right? Kasi, di ba? Um, pero ulitin natin yan, ulitin natin yan. Halikin natin ang ganda, oh. Ganda. Ganda, ganda. Ganda, ganda ng... Mga kababayan, ako po ay nakikiisa sa panawagan ng pagpapairal ng batas at katarungan sa hinaharap panawagan ng isyon ni Pastor Apollo Kibuloy at ng Sunshine Media Network Incorporated. Sa mga ginagawang pagdinig ay tila pinatawan na ng guilty verdict si Pastor Kibuloy kahit na nakabatay lamang ang pagdinig na ito sa mga paratang ng mga testigo na nagkukubli ng kanilang katauhan at hindi mapatunayan ang kredibilidad. Aba, 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 aba. Wait, 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 wait. Ngayon ni Pastor Kibuloy. Stop lang muna tayo. Speaking of witnesses with credibility, guys, naalala niyo yung mga witnesses na ginader nila nung panon na nasa puwersa sila laban kay Senator Leila De Lima. Or of course, if you don't want to believe that, of course, think about all of the other people, mga witnesses, o yung mga, even mga self-confessed drug lords and all na ginamit nila bilang witnesses, no? Laban sa kanila mga kalaban. Alright? Let's, let's keep that in mind, alright? I'm just saying, you know? Wala akong sinasabi. I'm just saying. It's very interesting. Oy, ay isang pandarahas. Hindi mapatunayan ang kredibilidad. Marami sa atin ang naniniwala na ang dinaranas ngayon ni Pastor Kibuloy ay isang pandarahas at hindi patas. Aba, siya pa yung biktima ngayon. Bukod sa hearing Grabe. na walang pinatutunguhan, ay kabilang rin dito ang indefinite suspension ng broadcasting network na SMNI. Ayan. Press ng isang freedom, guys. ng media freedom. Ayan. Hindi biro ang mga pag- 
Press freedom, guys. Press freedom. Ang na ganito. Nararapat lamang na babigyan ng patas na laban at sa tamang Patas na laban, exactly. Ika nga sa Mateo chapter 5 verses 11 to 12. Pinag okay, I'll leave it to some of our friends there to talk about the contextualization. I hope when people... But ayaw mag-stop. I hope people when they cite verses from from you know from the holy book and all they make sure na it's contextually relevant, all right? And yeah, mahaba ang usap at uh, ito guys. But but for me at uh, wait lang atay di pa to. Wait lang. Hi guys. Okay. Guys, ito ito. For me big deal pa rin yan na especially now na officer in charge sa Pilipinas, uh itong vice president natin, especially now na sa abroad si BBM. Uh, mag magkaroon ng ganitong intervention sa Sara Duterte. I think the timing of the intervention right now is quite important. Uh, and the fact na hinintay niya na umabot sa ganitong situation. Meaning, malabo na si, ang pangalan niya? Robin Hood yan, si Robin Hood Padilla. Okay. Trip, trip, trip. Okay, yung mga, ano, ito to. Um, malabo na si Robin Hood Padilla makahanap ng ano, sapat na boto. Malabo yung mga arguments na ginamit nila. Uh, obviously, there's always a Supreme Court route. But I'm not sure it's, if it's gonna work or whether that's that's the best uh, way forward. Because as we speak, guys, the DOJ, the FBI, the Senate, the lower house, all of them are moving in a certain direction. Now, obviously, hindi tugma dun sa hindi lang yung mga preference, actually expectations. I mean, you can see na medyo shock sila na na umabot sa ganito yung situation ni Pastor, de ba? Na talagang the walls are closing in on him. Uh, and speaking of which, de ba? Sabi ng kanina. Ito na, may contempt case na rin, even in the lower house, ukol naman dun sa issue ng SMNI, even as the pastor claims that hindi naman siya, uh, wala naman siyang kinalaman dun sa management and ownership dito ng, uh, ng SMNI uh, group na yan. So, uh, Surigao del Sur representatives, this is important, huh? you're talking about members of the House of Representatives, guys, na galing din sa Mindanao. So, for instance, Surigao del Sur representative Johnny Pimentel. Pimentel, di ba? Ito yung sinabi niya. The fact that he has not been appearing in these hearings, in this committee, just shows that he has no respect for this committee. It just shows that he acts like, he acts with impunity. He takes his hearing for granted. Ipinagwawa lang bahala niya. Importante po siya dito. He's simply ignoring this hearing, even though he's crucial here. So, ito na guys. Mga lawmakers na, including mga lawmakers, guys, galing dyan sa Mindanao are saying these things. Sabi niya, so dun sa kanyang pananaw, uh, pa, uh, panawagan, sorry, dun sa kanyang panawagan dito sa, sa committee, sinabi niya na, therefore, under house rule, it is house rules, it is our obligation to show na these people who take this committee for granted, the sanctions that could be meted out, under our house rules, you know, should be meted out accordingly. Therefore, I move to cite for contempt ito si Pastor on the grounds which I have uh, stated. Ayan. Obviously, uh, may sinasabi yung kabilang panic, but as you can see, both dito sa lower house and upper house, the walls are closing on them. Mukhang hindi sila nakahanap ng sapat na suporta dun sa mga Camp TDS, Camp Duterte, etc., um, so this is quite interesting to see where things are going. But having said that, having said that, I don't want to say someone is dragging his feet on this issue, but no, 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 no. But anyway, guys. So at the same time, since remember, guys, dapat deadline kahapon pa. Etong mga boto na dapat uh, na wala nagblush na tong, but ang red na red na ako. <laughs> Etong mga boto na. Uh, so Monday was the deadline for Robin Robin Hood Padilla to come up with you know sufficient votes to block a move for issuance of warrant of arrest by the Senate. Having said that, um, it looks like the Senate president right now is hedging, if I can put it that way. As you know, of course, dun sa isang uh, RRM and uh, RRL, sorry, RRL and RNR episode natin with Ronald Yamas. We also discussed a little bit, touched a little bit on the Senate coup situations because actually the position of uh, Senator Ziburi as we speak is not solid to put it mildly and there have been push for people like Jingo Estrada to replace him. Hindi ko sinasabi si Jingo Estrada yung na-involve. I'm just saying there are certain people na hindi natutuwa kay Zubiri. As you can see, Senate President Zubiri actually expended significant amount of political capital dun sa issue ng Chacha. Remember yung PI na yan? Yung mga Etsapuera, PI, ganyan, initiative na yan. 
Mick Zubiri went, you know, guns blazing, right? Bazookas blazing, right? Uh, against Young People's Initiative na yan. So, so maybe that that ruffled some feathers, maybe even the president's feathers. We don't know because marami sa Congress ay hindi natawa dun sa kanyang very vocal uh, intervention, which I think actually made sense. In fairness, in fairness, I think uh, it made sense for Mark, um, uh, for for uh, Senator Zubiri to come out guns blazing like that. But at the same time, I think uh, in terms of yung kanyang political capital in Kashenia, no, uh, I don't think he's he's quite on a semi shaky grounds to put it mildly. So I won't be surprised if he's if he's kind of how should I put it, um, hedging on this, right? Uh, so sabi niya. Uh, so ito, Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri sinabi niya na kailangan na magpakita ng showcase order uh, before he would sign a contempt order against uh, si Kibuloy. So ito yung sinabi niya sa isang reporters. He explained he would discuss the matter with Senate Committee on Women, Children, Family Relations and Gen- Gender Equality Chairperson i.e. Riza Ontiveros as this process was con- consistent with the Supreme Court decision on the petition filed by former Presidential Economic Advisor Michael Liang and Farmali Far- <laughs> Nabalik- Bumalik na yung Farmali issue guys By the way Kamusta ang Farmali? Biglang parang nakalimutan natin yung Farmali issue na yan Naka talagang Pilipinas talaga ah, Ito guys ah, um, Zubiri told Kasi naglabas na ng ruling yung Supreme Court sa Farmali Remember the Farmali issue bought in direct contempt? So under the ruling of the Supreme Court We must exhaust all legal avenues In other words, due process Aba, Ito na naman tayo eh. So ang request ko, ka, ko ay Kay Senator Riza, all she has to do is come up with another committee hearing really quickly, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday, to give a show cause order. So, he's saying medyo kailangan pa ng ano yan, ano yun pa yan, medyo masayan pa yan until there'll be sufficient ground for him to sign na itong warrant of arrest na yan. So, as you guys remember, last week's when Tiveros ruled that Kibuloy would be cited for contempt after hindi naman siya uh, nagpakita despite yung subpoena na inisyo ng Senado. Uh, sabi ni Zubiri, I don't want to be in violation of the Supreme Court ruling on the Farmali issue. Uh, so, di lang yun ang, yun ang ano, yun ang angle. Okay. So, of course, because of his very, um, you know, high respect for the Supreme Court. So, ang request ko ay talaga, kay Senator Riza, all she has to do is come up with another committee hearing. No? Para ayusin ito. So, that means um, we're, we're still not gonna see itong uh, culmination ng itong Kiboloy saga, mahong there'll still be a few days, if not few weeks uh, left before we'll see some uh, decisive move on this. Honestly, I mean, I'm also wondering if if you are BBM, do you want this Kiboloy issue to be handled while you're away? Or do you want this issue to be handled once you're back? Or something big will happen once you're back? Because, I don't know, honestly. Because, as you know, if something happens to, I mean, uh, if things move against Kiboloy and things, the, the walls, uh, you know, close on, close in on him or may arrest na mangyari, directly may, may ano yan eh, may effect yan sa mga Dutertes. I mean, you can see, no less than Sarah Duterte is coming out strongly in support of Kiboloy right now. So, uh, who knows? Because, you know, let's be honest. It's not like there's no conversation happening between the different branches of the state. It's, it's not there's no coordination happening. Clearly, we know with the House leadership and the president, the line is pretty direct. And I wouldn't be surprised if Biri also has a certain line with the president and all. Because this is this is not a kind of a... India to trivial na issue, to put it mildly. This is a big, big issue. Especially with Sara Duterte coming in strongly and saying, I stand with, with Kibuloy, right? At nag na siya kung ano-ano na, yung press freedom, due process. All of these things that you wonder, wow, it's interesting for Duterte to talk about these things. You know, considering all these things happening in the <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, is, is, are we dragging our, uh, his feet around? Like say, you know, people were expecting by now there'll be already, ano, eh, there'll be already uh, a decisive moment on this issue. But now, wala yung, yung binabasa ko. Nasan ka na? Di pa ako tapos. May mga ano pa dyan. Next, nasan na? Where was it? Ah, ito, 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 ito. Wait, wait, wait. Ito, ito, ito. Bumaba siya. Ito, ito yung quote niya. Okay, so I don't want to be in violation of the Supreme Court ruling re Farmali issue. Of course, <clears throat> tanong ko, kamusta naman po yung Farmali? Ano pong nangyari doon sa Farmali after all of those hearings and everything that happened in the Senate? Diba? 
So anyway, sabi niya, dapat kailangan ng, uh, magpakita ng show cause order si Ma'am Riza at hindi pa rin satisfactory yung explanation, sagot, at ayaw talaga pumunta dito. Then it's ministerial and the part of Senate to release a warrant of arrest. Oh, see, it's important. He said, it's ministerial on the part of the Senate to release a warrant of arrest. Meaning, may pagka, uh, wala akong kinalaman dyan. I'm just gonna follow what is my mandate and what are my obligations. And I think the, the, the choice of words is also important here, right? Uh, ministerial. on the part of the Senate. Okay? Uh, as we discussed under Section 11 of the Rules of Procedures Governing Course in aid of legislation, uh, Padilla had until Monday to come up with his counter-explanation and all. Uh, Rizzo Antifaris Kaapon said, let's hear it. Let's see what's gonna happen. But honestly, guys, ang mas interesado akong isa pang potential hearing is ito yata, um, mukhang um, Nancy Binay. Nancy Binay once, ano, Senator Nancy Binay once a hearing dito sa yung mga nagpapagluta sa loob ng Senado. Alright, uh, let's see kung ano mangyari dyan. So, si Mohang, eto, base dito sa report nato sa politiko, eto, gluta po more. Eto, Senator Nancy Binay filed the resolution uh, na potential magkaroon ng hearing dito uh, sa issue ng... Uh, yung mga drip drip sessions dyan sa, sa loob ng, ng Senado. So I want to see also what's gonna happen on that front. But having said that, I hope naman uh, we'll also hear from... Kaya nga gusto ko yung intervention ni Rizon Tiveras kapon eh. Diba? Maganda yung intervention niya na uh, she said something along the lines na, you know, Women's Day uh, the other week... At pinaparatangan uh, ng lahat. Wait, wait, wait. Women's Day the other week... Uh, diba? Um, ito, ito. Tapos natin ito kay Risa. Na yung mga, ano, mga pampa, women empowerment, mga ganyan-ganyan. Sana naman, mag- magsalita kayo ngayon. Kasi ito na yung panahon na pakita kayo talaga kayo. Kasi madali mag-lip service eh. ba diba? Kaya nga lip service lang talaga. Ang kailangan talaga dito, magpakita kayo ng conviction sa buhay. ba diba? When tough decisions comes uh, come, saan ka tataya? ba diba? Dun sa pa-safe, dun sa ano. So let's see. So ito ah. Not bend its rules and procedures for you. Pastor Kiboloy, yeah. even if you are, as you say, a self-appointed son of God, hindi kami para utusan mo. You will not mock the system of checks and balances during our watch. And this is not up for debate. Imbes na pinanindigan sana ni Kiboloy ang pag-astang hambog, nagpakita na lang sana siya sa Senado. At nagbigay ng statement on record ukol sa mga bintang laban sa kanya. Napakarami na niyang sinayang na oras at pagkakataon. Tukol naman sa pirmahan para i-block ang contempt order laban kay Kiboloy. Ang huli nating balita ay apat pa rin sila. At ang masasabi ko naman dyan ay... Happy International Women's Month pa rin mm. sa aking mga colleagues. Yan. Of course, I wish... Mis- <laughs> yan. Gusto ko yan. The Senate will not bend its rules. Gusto ko Medyo, ano, nagparinig. Kailangan ng ganun, guys. Kailangan ng ganun. Magsalita naman yung mga ibang senador, especially yung mga senadora natin na kababayan na nagka-claim ng ganyan. Magsalita na kayo. Hindi pwede yung hindi lang kayo mag-vote in favor of this or that. You have to come out and make your stance clear to the public and all of that. Ay, hindi ko na alam ko yung... Kay Rafi Tulfo kung may sinabi siya noon. Pero at least yung mga sa mga babae na ano. Uh, sana siya sa Senado at nagbigay ng statement on record ukol sa mga bintang laban sa kanya. Napakarami na niyang sinayang na oras at pagkakataon. Pero gusto pa niya unlimited time, di ba, dun sa hearing niya? Tukol naman sa pirmahan para i-block ang contempt order laban kay Kiboloy. Ang huli nating balita ay apat pa rin sila. At ang masasabi ko naman dyan ay Happy International Women's Month pa rin Ayan. sa aking mga colleagues. Ayan. Of course, Ayan, I respect mga... the prerogatives of my fellow senators. Mm. Pero may kaunting oras pa naman para ma-review nila ang mga testimonya ng mga witnesses sa ating mga hearings, lalo na ang mga kababaihan. Siyempre, hopeful pa rin ako. na maitataguyod natin ang mga prinsipyo ng transparency, mm. accountability at 
The Senate will not Yan, yan guys. Pero guys, sabi nga ni ano, hi guys. Gusto rin natin ng press freedom, due process, truth. Yan, mga ganon. So, uh, saan tayo? <laughs> Hindi, yun nga eh. Ano kayong sasabihin ni madam? Bakit? Bobo ba tayo? Gaganan naman siguro yung isa. Ba? Bakit? You don't do that to your friends. Ganon, yan. Guys, okay, 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 guys. Mga kabudols. Kamusta na kay Jan? Kamusta na kay Jan? Okay. Kailangan natin nang tapusin ito, guys, kasi kailangan ko mag-update. Kailangan ko mag-follow up doon naman sa latest vlogs ni Bulljack TV. <laughs> I'm wondering what are they saying on the other side. My goodness, sa sobrang busy natin, hindi na-check yung mga mga banat ng mga kaibigan natin. Jan, on the other side of the universe. Hindi fence, eh. Ibang universe kasi yung mga mga iba dyan, eh, di ba? So, oh na, medyo, oh, pasin nyo ha, di ba? Medyo pula na yata. Hindi natin alam bakit. Ako naging kulay BBM na tayo. Naging pula na. Baka ma-rectag tayo dyan. Nagbablush na tayo. Pero guys, um, to be honest, actually, I, I, I like na Senator, Senator Rizal Antiveros is, you know, kind of stepping it up. Kasi, yun nga, maparinig ka na. Medyo ano, you know, yung magsalita naman kayo dyan. Lalo yung ibang senador dyan na sinasabi nila sila yung lumalaban para sa masa, para sa mga taong bayan. And then, of course, what? When things go hard, uh, ikakwestion mo yung credibility ng mga biktima dahil hindi sila malakas na tao, hindi sila importante ang tao, hindi sila mapwersang tao, hindi sila nagbigay ng helicopter sa'yo, hindi sila kaibigan mo, hindi sila nagbigay ng mga, ah, uh, diba? Yan ang problema talaga. Yan ang talagang problema sa atin, guys. So, huwag na natin kalimutan, guys, ha? Uh, yung Sermon on the Mount, no? Basahin din po natin yung Biblia natin, especially Matthew. Uh, alam niyo na, yung mga Jesus warned his followers on yan, false prophets. So, next time, pag-usapan siguro natin na yan. Pero sana naman, guys, yung mga iba nagsasite ng, you know, bago ka mag-site ng mga ano, verse sa Biblia, make sure the context is relevant, alright, and appropriate, alright. Okay, this is very, very important, alright. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Um, again, you know, it's it's quite rich for some people to talk about due process and press freedom considering their track record or their father's track record not long ago. But let's not forget, this is just a hearing, alright. This is not a kind of a final, um, you know, judicial body that will decide, you know, on the guilt, guilty verdict. Pero interesado din ako malalaman ko yung ano, kung ano yung details also dun sa California court which called for the opening of the seal, no? Dun para magkaroon tayo ng uh, clarity dun sa details ng alleged crimes ng taong ito, no? So anyway, ganun naman. Sila na naman ang biktima. Ganun naman sa Pilipinas. Kung sino ano, wala. Sila naman ang biktima. Ganun naman talaga. Ganun naman talaga. Basta kung ikaw ay hindi importante ang tao, hindi kayo mayaman, hindi kayo ay kaibigan ng dating presidente, ganun, wala. So, ano lang? Drip, drip lang, guys. Drip, drip everywhere. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, guys. Wala. Kanina pumunta tayo dun sa isang shop na, ano, malagay rub, rub, rub. Yung mga, ano dyan, yung mga, <laughs> yan tuloy naalala natin itong drip, drip, drip. So, eh, mag-update din tayo dyan, guys. Baka naman magkaroon ng committee on ethics hearing din sa mga gluta, gluta pa more, pa victim pa more, yung iba dyan, pa victim pa more. Sorry na, siya pang victim, okay. Thank you guys uh, for tuning in, medyo humabol lang yung mga ibang estudyante natin, mukhang nasa kabilang channel kayo, nasa kabil- ay sorry, nasa kabilang classroom kayo kanina. So hinintay, ko, hinintay namin kayo, medyo 30 minutes po yung build up natin hanggang napunta natin. Ito napakaganda, napakagandang intervention guys. Napakagandang intervention kasi ano pa lang. Iba talaga tingnan niyo guys. So, ano pa lang sound. Music. Hindi, hindi, hindi to kay Risa. Yung isa, ito talagang yung opening pa lang guys. Music, logo. Yan yan. Ganyan. Yan guys. So, bye. Bye guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Alright guys. Maraming salamat. Matulog na kayo. And uh, God willing talk to you soon. Salamat.